Hiya, my name is Dr. Jodelyn Afori. I'm here in sunny Jamaica from the United Kingdom. I'm a musculoskeletal consultant there and I do a lot of sports rehab and sports injury. I'm here at uh, Arden High to speak to the student athletes about injury prevention. Uh, we'll be talking about the anatomy of the body and the joints, the muscles, the, the ligaments, tendons. Uh, we'll be talking about how to prevent injuries or some common injuries that they could be picking up as student athletes. Um, and how to mitigate those injuries, prevent those injuries, but also how to rehabilitate those injuries if they do pick them up. We'll be talking about different exercises that they can be doing to keep themselves in top shape so they can be uh, performers to the, uh, to the elitist level. Thank you for having me, Arden High. Okay, injury prevention of the knee. Warm up, cool down, really, really important, okay? Strength and conditioning exercises, particularly for the medial and lateral quadricep muscle. So your thigh muscle has three it's a quadricep muscle, but it has three muscles that make up one muscle, okay? So you have um, a medial muscle, uh, a middle muscle, and a lateral muscle. Now, when you have your kneecap, if you have a problem with the kneecap not sitting properly, it's often because the medial muscle and the outer muscle are not balanced. So if you have a tight outer muscle here, then what that will do is that would cause the kneecap to come over to the side, okay? And you can pick up a problem at the knee. Similarly, if the muscle on the inside um, is too strong, then you can get a movement of the kneecap inside and that can also cause a problem at the knee as well. So it's really important that you've got good muscle stability on the inner and outer side, thank you, on the inner and outer side of the knee as well as at the front and the back of the knee as well. At the end, please. Um, good hamstring and quad quadricep flexibility, really, really important, okay? Problems with the kneecap moving in its groove, we call that patella tracking problems, are often due to the fact that the outer side of the um, quadricep muscle, or this band here, this is called the iliotibial band, sometimes it's too tight and it pulls the kneecap across and you get problems with the joint, the kneecap joint, okay, a tracking problem, okay? So you need to essentially relax these muscles, okay, stretch them out, roll them out, okay, and strengthen up the inner thigh muscle. I'm not trying to scare you all about all these injuries, and you probably go throughout your whole career, you may not pick up anything serious, but it's important to understand that these things can happen and so that you know what to do, what the signs and symptoms are and how to treat and manage it as quickly as possible so that you don't end your career before it's even started, okay? This is what a tear of one of the muscles looks like. So this is the, does anybody know what this muscle is? I mentioned it before. Can anybody recall? supraspinatus okay so it sits superior okay it sits superior so that as you can see this muscle comes here it comes under this arch and then this is a tear right here of that muscle what do you think would be sitting underneath that muscle to prevent a tear like this what's the st the bursa yeah so normally the bursa is sitting underneath that so you wouldn't normally pick up a, a tear like this this is trauma so a significant trauma has to have occurred to pick up a tear this bad in uh, this muscle, okay? This is the bursa that I was describing, okay? It's a fluid-filled sac. It sits between tendons and muscles, um, tendons and bone, to prevent friction, okay? So that's what a bursa looks like. Okay, so we're going to look at some sports. Basketball, netball, cricket, discus, javelin, high jump, shot put, pole vault, hammer, throw, football, tennis, any sport where you have to use your arm, you could pick up an injury of the shoulder. It really is just as simple as that, okay? Basketball players, when you're shooting, it's so repetitive, okay? If you've got a poor technique, not very good shoulder strength, you can pick up a problem at your shoulder. Football players, if you think about when you go up for a header, okay? You're using your shoulder girdle to exert force, to put force through that ball you can hurt your shoulder. If you fall awkwardly, you can hurt your shoulder, okay? So don't think that, okay, as a football player, I'm not really using my arms, I'm using my feet, I don't need to condition my shoulder. If you have that thought, you could pick up a shoulder injury and that could put you out for the season. So it's important with, with, with all these sports that you're doing, that you're doing a general conditioning of all your body and not just focusing on the areas that you think you use the most, okay? Injury prevention, really important that you're doing a good warm up. very, very important. A lot of young athletes that I see, they do like hardly anything on the warm-up because they're so keen to get into the main thing, right? But if you miss your warm-up, you're not preparing your muscles 
for what it's going to go through. And that is how you pick up injuries. If you start and go into something very cold, your muscles don't have the flexibility they need to contract and exert maximal force. So you can start to pick up muscle injuries and tendon injuries if you're not doing a really, really good warm up. Similarly, a cool down, very, very important. Not only just for the musculoskeletal system, but for your heart and for your lungs. Really important that you're decreasing your heart rate, okay, gently to prevent issues with heart attacks. I'm sure some of you are aware of young footballers who are like having heart attacks on the pitch, right? And you're thinking these are, these are athletes, these are fit Premier League players, international players. Why are they so young and, and they're picking up you know, heart, heart attacks and things like that, right? Really, really important that you're doing your warm-ups and your cool-downs, right? To prevent issues with heart and lungs as well as the, the musculoskeletal system as well. And I'll talk about warm-up and cool-downs throughout the whole thing because it's so important because I want you to take that away. All the sports teams, present, all the staff, present, and of course the vice principal, Ms. Miller. I'd like to say thank you for this very informative session. Uh, I think everyone here can leave the session and say that they've learned something, mm -hmm. you know. Hopefully they'll get into it, guys, and yeah. thank you very much. Okay, you're very welcome.